Yo, what's up, boy Ghost here? Today I'm bringing you guys another comparison video. And like I mentioned a few videos ago, I was gonna be doing this a lot more. And as you guys can see, man, the last three uploads have been comparisons. And man, listen, I'm having a lot of fun making comparisons. Um, these are by far my favorite videos to make. And I just want to thank you guys for the support you guys showed in the last two videos. And let's keep it going. But uh, man, this comparison is going to be the previous H versus the M1912 or the Tommy Gun, which is what I'm going to be referring to this whole like video. I'm not going to call it the M1912, I'm going to call it the Tommy Gun, so you know, just be aware. You guys will know anyway, because you know, we all know the Tommy Gun. Um, but yeah, man, I want to make this comparison because the PPSH right now is widely considered to be the best SMG. And then the Tommy Gun is like another SMG that is considered to be good because of the fire rate, and it rivals the PPSH in a few aspects, which we'll get into in a second. Uh, but also, the gun that I'm having in my hand right now, the Cooper Carbine, this this gun is also on the come-up, and trust me, I got something that works for this in the future. I definitely want to make a video on this gun, because this gun is also very, very filthy. Um, but yeah, man, with that being said, though, let's get into the version. And here we have the recoil pattern for the previous age. And believe me when I tell you, I did not touch my right analog. I did not try to control this weapon at all. And the recoil pattern came out like that. I mean, that's not even really a recoil pattern. This gun quite literally has no recoil based off that base recoil pattern. And to be honest, while using it, it doesn't seem like it's like that. But now that I'm looking at the gameplay again, looking at these clips of the previous age, I can kind of see it now. Like the gun literally doesn't move. It's more so the, the iron sight just kind of like kicking up. But when you put on the sight, like it's a lot, the no recoil is a lot more noticeable, which you've seen in some of these clips. Or at least for me, I was able to notice. I don't know if you guys will be able to, but for me, I was uh, you know, able to notice. And it's kind of crazy though. But now I'm using the sight on, on SMGs. I never did that. I always thought it was weird to use uh, sights. But now that you have 10 attachments, bro, I mean, why not use a sight? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Um, but yeah, man, one little disclaimer, if you guys already probably noticed, but in my class setup for BBS Age, um, I would definitely not fully recommend it. I'd probably recommend some attachments, but I don't have this gun fully maxed out. Um, I kind of slacked on it when the game was out, or the Vanguard was out, so, you know, I didn't get to fully upgrade it. So now I'm just leveling it up as I go, and it's still really, really good. And although it's really, really good, it's always lost to the Tommy Gun one-on-one. -on -one. And that's what kind of made this video come into fruition. Yeah, yeah, people have talked about the Tommy Gun, and in general, it's like a really fast fire rate weapon, which is what the PPSH is. But every time I've gotten... A, I've gone against a Tommy gun in a clean one on one. I don't think I've ever won with the PBSH. I can't recall a time that wasn't like me getting the first two bullets or them getting the first two bullets where, like, you know, I won. When it was just a clean one on one, head to head. Like, I've always lost it. And it's kind of crazy to me because I feel like the PBSH is definitely the better of the two. I'm not saying the Tommy gun is bad. The Tommy gun is still really, really good, but. The thing about the PPSH, right, is, again, the control and accuracy feels a lot better. Like, that was, like, noticeable by a margin. Like, I'm using both of these weapons as I'm leveling them up in uh, Warzone, because both of them I do not have leveled up. And even with the little attention that I have on my PPSH, this gun feels really good, really accurate, whereas the Tommy gun doesn't feel like that. It feels like it kind of goes all over the place. Sometimes I really can't hit my bullets, and the fire rate feels way too fast for, for 50 bullets, like... The base uh, mag for Tommy is 50. You can go up to 100, which you definitely need 100. I don't care anyone says you definitely need 100 for a Tommy gun. And the PPSH goes up to 71 from 35. And you also need 71 on the PPSH. But I feel like a PPSH's 71 mag lasts a lot more than the 100 mag. Because I feel like the fire rate on the PPSH is, like, I don't know how much slower it is. I don't know, like, the specifics of it. But it definitely feels slightly slower because in the sense that i can serve a lot more ammo when i'm fighting people and so when i go up against a lot of people with like seven like let's say i go up against three or 71 on the pvsh i feel confident i'll be able to win it because the gun feels really fast i think it does more damage than the timing gun at least in my opinion i think the timing gun just has the overwhelmingly fire rate it's kind of like the mac 10 if you guys know anything about stats of uh, just weapons in warzone you will know that the mac 10 damage wise isn't the greatest but the fire rate is completely absurd. That has one of the fastest fire rates in the game. It probably still stays true even with the Tommy Gun and PPSH of Vanguard. Um, but yeah, like, that's how I feel like the Tommy Gun is. It's like the Mac 10, except for it doesn't have the range and it's definitely no recoil. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't have 
the no recoil aspect. The PPSH is the PPSH. It kind of feels similar to the Cold War one, where it's a very good close range weapon that range is not really effective. But I actually would argue that this PPSH is better than the Cold War one. Um, to be honest, I think that might be opinion based, but I mean, this one right now is undeniable. It's one of the best guns in the game by far, but the Tommy gun Enemy isn't nearby. something to write off. And with that being said, man, let's get into the Tommy gun. And then we have the Rupert pattern for the Tommy gun. And as you guys can see, bro, this is a complete 180 from the PPSH. But it definitely fits this gun because this gun definitely has control and accuracy issues. Um, again, though, like I don't have this gun fully maxed out, so I don't know how like good it can be when I get all my attachments. And I'm actually excited to use these weapons when I get all the attachments. It's actually kind of crazy because although these two guns actually ended up getting nerfed in the previous update, and, and I'm not really going to go over those nerfs because it really doesn't matter. Um, I don't think that this situation really matters because both guns, in my opinion, are really still like the top SMGs. Um, you can make arguments for other ones, and trust me, man, we will. In this channel, we will make arguments for all the other SMGs. But for now, from what I've felt and what I've used, these two guns are probably the, the kings of the SMG category just because of the fire rate. And, you know, I've come to realize that in Warzone, man, fire rate, especially, I guess, in this new map and whatnot, the fire rate really, really matters, bro. And both of these guns definitely have fast fire rate. Tommy gun being the superior in fire rate, but I feel like in every other aspect, it's just inferior damage, accuracy, recoil. I guess magazine size would go to the Tommy gun, but, you know, the fire rate essentially makes the 100 round mag like a 50. Um, but yeah, man, I also do want to apologize Again, that we don't have stats for these guns, because trust me, if we had stats, man, this comparison could get a lot, a lot more interesting. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, from what I've heard, private match stats for these guns are not the same as uh, public match or just the normal Warzone matches. And I don't know if they'll ever fix that. I don't know if, when we're gonna get the stats, but you know, I'm not the one that tests these things out. You know what I'm saying? So like, uh, that's what I just heard from people that do test these things out. And you know, we just gotta hope that they can hopefully do it. At some point, but you know, I'm not the guy that tests these things out, bro. You know, I'm not gonna go out there in a private match where I'm getting slide canceled on people using all these guns. I'm not gonna go and test it out, bro. That's not, that's not my job, bro. I'm here to compare them though and relay that information, but I ain't, I ain't the one to, to get that information. Uh, but I do apologize, man. I really wish we had stats because this specific comparison, the stats would mean so, so much just to guys have a better understanding of the comparison between these two. Uh, but from what I've seen, like I mentioned earlier, bro, the Tommy gun, to me, the best way I can describe it is like a MAC-10. And then the PPSH will be, I guess even it's uh, like its own PPSH from Cold War. Like, it's powerful, has a pretty Someone fast jump. fire rate. And um, whereas the MAC-10, or my bad, the MAC-10. What, what is this, bro? The Tommy gun is like a MAC-10 where it has... Low damage, but extremely fast fire rate. Such a fast fire rate that it can compete no matter the difference in damage. Because it's crazy, bro. Because you guys remember, the MAG-10 was always an SMG that seemed to be in meta conversation. And if you look at the stats, it wasn't, like, off the charts. It wasn't, like, this crazy, overpowered damage gun. Like, nah. It just had such a fast fire rate that it did not matter. What the, as long as the damage was, you know, decent... It was able to compete with the SMGs, and that's what the Tommy gun feels like. Especially once I get all the attachments, once I'm able to fully max it out, get the accuracy, get the recoil control, and even get my 100 round mag, this gun will be really, really good. And I'll definitely challenge a maxed out, uh, fully decked out PBSH. It could definitely, probably, actually, I don't know, the Cooper Carbine, I've used that, bro, when I picked it up off the ground. And, man, I just can't wait to get to fully go in debt with that. So be ready for that, because that comparison will be coming out soon. Um, again, I don't have that gun leveled up, so we're going to have to just make do what we got. But this Tommy gun, I just think right now it's getting kind of overshadowed by PPSH. But it kind of makes sense, because, listen, right now it's all about reducing bloom and having not that much recoil. A lot of these guns have been thrown at us, and it's not like Cold War Modern Warfare weapons, where... Every gun just has no recoil, which is actually I like. I like that all these guns are not like these no recoil OP things. Like, I'm actually glad a lot of these have recoil and it just require take or it requires skill to use some of these guns. They're a lot harder to use than what we've had in the past, and I like that. It's, it's taking a little bit to get adjusted to, but overall, I like it. As long as they get rid of the boom, once they get rid of the boom, though, it'll make things a lot better and it'll just make it more enjoyable, which they already possibly doing. If you guys have not heard. Never keep up once they go through with that change, both of these guns are obviously going to see an improvement. But I think it's going to impact the 
Tommy gun a lot more because the Tommy gun definitely feels like it has the most recoil, the most everything than the PBSH. And that's, I mean, you guys can just take a look at the recoil patterns. Like, that in itself should show you enough proof that this gun definitely has it a lot more harder than the PBSH. And I'm telling you, once we get it all ironed out, bro, the Tommy gun is going to definitely be up there. I still even think now, like, it's able to compete with the PBSH. Like, if we're talking to just head on, it's definitely able to compete. Like, and both these weapons, bro, I mean, it's just personal preference. For me personally, if you ask me what I would prefer, I'd definitely pick the PBSH. Um, but the Tommy gun is not something to sleep on. You guys see what it can do. I wish I could have given you guys stats so we can better understand it. But I mean, let's just play the game, bro. And you already know, man. You've died to a Tommy gun before. You know how, how crazy it can be. But um, yeah, man. With that being said, man, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what other questions you guys would like to see. And I'm out.